Uh, let me just do a little. <laughs> okay, yeah, right there is good. Right there is good. The female reproductive cycle, the menstrual cycle, it affects every human being on this planet, irrelevant of who you are, where you live, or what you think. It's code in our DNA that kicks in for 50% of our species from puberty around the age of 12 or 13, plus or minus a few years, all the way up to menopause, which is around the age of 50, 55, plus or minus a few years. Now for me, I really didn't understand this. What I just said until I was into my early adulthood, which is absolutely crazy. Okay. And the way I was able to relate to this, the way I, the way I was able to take that information and work with it, make it a part of me, uh, to improve my human experience, was to think of the menstrual cycle as a cyclic function. And what's a cyclic function? A cyclic function is something that repeats. May it be the earth going around the sun, may it be you getting up in the morning, every morning brushing your teeth, may it be you running around the track, may it be sine waves, may it be waves in the ocean, may it be light, may it be sound, may it be vibrations, okay? All of those things are cyclic functions, as is the menstrual cycle. So what we're gonna do right now is talk about the menstrual cycle as a cyclic function. Now obviously I'm not an expert in this. So I recruited the help of a really good friend of mine. And uh, what we ended up doing is going for a little suburban fruit picking walk. And um, she ended up taking me to a top of a mountain where she had seen some graffiti. And luckily we found a nice little patch of wall to you know, create a little graph of uh, the menstrual cycle being represented as a very basic form of a cyclic function. Okay, so what I'd like to do right now is introduce you to Diane. So um, what we're going to do right now, we're going to go to this wall, and uh, we're basically going to visualize, um, you know, in the most basic form, obviously, uh, the female reproductive cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So we're going to do 28 days in the horizontal on the axis. Horizontal. Yeah. Like okay. the X axis. On the X axis? Okay. Yeah. So this is now our X axis. And our X axis is time. We're going to try to cut this in half. So that's 14 days. 7 days. 21 days. So that's 4 weeks. 1 week, 2 week, 3 week, 4 weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is time and our time is in days. What are we going to do with our y-axis? What are we going to call this? Stuff's really happening. Stuff's, stuff is happening. Stuff's happening. Okay, cool. Should we put an axis? Should we put numbers on it? Like a 10? Sure. It's 10 being the happening. most happening. It's happening. 10's the most happening. Like you can't miss it. This is it. This is important stuff <laughs> here. Okay. But delve in further for more information about hormones and the uterine lining. Okay, so what are we doing now? What's, what, so what we're we starting gonna, we at the first day of menstruation. The first day that there's ble bleeding. The first day. Okay. Day one. So that's where the cycle starts? Yeah. So we're going to call this the start point. So what are we going to do from here? This is when you start bleeding. Yes. And this is called menstruation. Yes. This is called menstruation. Mm -hmm. And how long does this last in general? Well, menstruation in general lasts about five days, but some women could be two days, some women could have a full five days, and yeah. Okay, so length varies. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it could last up to five days? Yeah, so give or take. And this is where it's peaking or coming down? Coming down. So this is where it's ending. So we're going from here to here, and I'm assuming this is symmetrical, yeah? It's yeah it can vary for women it can vary yeah Fair it could so. build and, and it could be like a perfect bell you know oh, it could, you could go with bell. that okay so we could go with a perfect bell so what we're going to do is kick this up as a bell shape all the way up to the center point the peak being you can't miss it it's happening 
right? Yeah. So, and this is menstruation. 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 Mm -hmm. And this happens approximately every 28 days? Well, then in the middle is the ovulation. Okay, so there's, so we have menstruation and then mm -hmm. we're... And then at about day 14, there's ovulation. So the egg is released from the ovary. Okay. And how long does this period last? There's like this time between, you know, maybe three days before, three days after that it seems to okay. go together. So this is the peak and this is called? Ovulation. So this is this is like the basically the most basic form of the female reproductive cycle. Very basic. Very basic. Very and then, basic. So then at day 28, then the cycle starts again back here. Okay. So yeah. at this point, this point, the cycle starts again and you're back here and this whole thing repeats. So if you take this, right? So this is basically 28 days. If you take this and take 350, 365 and divided by 28 you get approximately 13 so if you take this and lay it back to back right 13 times you've gone through one whole year J just so it's understood how this is this looks anyway if it looked for me or if you look at it from a mathematical perspective this thing here menstruation in mathematics in physics we call this cycle where you can take something and put it back to back. We call this the period of the female reproductive cycle or any cycle you want to talk about. If this is, if this is the cycle of something else, the period of the cycle is 28 days. So there's a menstruation period of 28 and there's a ovulation period of 28. You just put it back to back. Mm -hmm. And that's 13 periods, 13 events. 13 times it happens. Yeah, 13. That's it. I think it's important to also just to note that this is like the release of the egg, ovulation. Yeah. And then this is the shedding of the the egg. That's all the blood is the shedding oh, of okay. the... So, so it's, it's good to know the relationship. Egg is released it, here. Egg is released here. So like it would go here 14 yeah. days earlier. Okay. So the egg is... So ovulation. Egg is, and this is the egg right now is sitting on the uterus yeah um, it's implanting this is implanting yeah right it's implanting it's going down the fallopian tubes it's like going through a whole journey this egg oh, okay. fallopian tubes oh, uh, yeah, into so the, the 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 uterus into the uterus okay. and then the egg like wants to implant into the uterine lining and be fertilized that's okay. what it wants to do it's so its mission so by this time if it's not fertilized if it's not fertilized it releases it releases the uterine lining starts to shed and that is shedding the egg as well and the whole whole cycle the, the tissue actually grows sheds grows sheds okay, the, okay. it's a very active part of the female okay. so this is basically the most basic form of how you can take a look at the or how i have i looked at the female reproductive cycle and um, this is as basic as it gets and it allowed me to be able to uh, relate to mm. half, you know, half the people in my species, the, hum the human race, right? And um, that's it. Uh, and guys, uh, thank you, Diane, uh -huh. for uh, at least walking us through this, right? right? And this is very basic. This is, mm. this doesn't, you know, other things can happen. Uh, it doesn't happen with people extreme. Sometimes uh, things miss, there's doubling up, mm -hmm. there's missing of periods, missing of cycles. And there's pain too. And there's Some pain women involved. go through so much pain. Oh yeah, there's My pain Migraines well. and vomiting. But it, oh, that's get, taking it pretty far, well, right? You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, I mean? that's good. To barely, someone may not notice very much at all or be very affected. Okay, okay. On a pain scale. On a there's pain. the emotions too okay. that go with the hormones fluctuating. Yeah, so this isn't just simple, no. oh yeah, this happens and this yeah. happens. Yeah. There's a lot of emotions involved in this. Yeah, emotions, yeah. yeah. And a lot of physical physical pain or physical Could pleasure be. or mm -hmm. physical, like physical There's a physical things. experience it's in physical this cycle. Yeah. yeah. Physical and emotional. And, yeah. And emotional. And chemical. And chemical, yeah, it's yeah. chemical reactions. Yeah, there's it's all these chemicals. Being released, being released at certain times and okay, okay. 
causing different things to happen. But this is basically it. This is as rudimentary as a guess. The yeah, female I think so. Female cycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Thanks, Diane. Yeah, thank you. I hope it makes sense. It's a good place to start. Hi, Mom. <laughs>